So just a quick look at a few war merit crosses here instituted in 1939. Similar to the Iron Cross, it has the year displayed on it one side and a swastika on the other. You'll notice one version has these cross swords while another does not. And that's because you'd be eligible to receive the one with the swords if you were in the armed uh, services, but uh, this was not combat related and you contributed to the war effort. As opposed to this one, which is for, for civilians who contributed to the war effort. So, a real common award. Many of them were given out and um, today these are real affordable. The one on the left here inside the plastic was actually my first piece that I ever picked up. It was in a, at an estate sale. It came with the original packet and appears to be unissued. You're also going to find uh, markings on the ring a lot of times just like in the Iron Cross. But anyway back to this piece I had no interest in collecting whatsoever, but I came across this item at an estate sale, and I said, oh my god. When I saw the Swats, I said, jeez, what are you doing with this thing? How did this end up here? What's going on? I was just shocked. And I guess that shock kind of led to curiosity and picked the piece up. And the rest is history. So a lot of people will kind of stumble across the hobby accidentally, and something sparks their interest once the item is actually in hand and um, you know start learning about it and doing research and reading things and finding out a whole lot of other collectibles are out there as we see so three war merit crosses common beginner items nice ribbons with the national colors hope you like them thanks